Hello guys, um, once more it's your boy Gabi. Um, today I'm going to take you through Sakai. Okay, we'll be learning some of the tools um, in Sakai because um, this time around this time we'll be using Sakai to do our assignments, as um, most of the distance students does all the time. Okay, so first, um, what you have to do is to get a good internet connectivity. And then you log in with your browser. I prefer Google Chrome. Um, I use Google Chrome all the time. So when you log into your browser, sorry, inside your URL, you just type sakai.uj.edu.gh slash portal. Okay, this will link you directly to the Sakai homepage. Good. Okay, so there we are. This is the Sakai homepage. But first, before you can access the tools and courses, you have to log in with your student ID and then the five digit pin. Okay, I'm using um, an Android phone, so I'll prefer to open a desktop mode here. Cool. So this is the desktop mode. <coughs> so here we log in with our five digit pin and then our student ID. Login. This is the Sakai homepage. Okay, so when you log into the homepage, you could see there is an icon button here, a notification icon button here. Okay, if you have any notification, the moment you log in, you see a number of um, notifications popping up here either one, two, or three. And it goes on because I'm having seven notifications here. So these notifications tells me that. Uh, maybe I have an assignment, I have a text, or I have a quiz, okay, or there's an, an announcement being made. So when you click on it, you see the series of notifications you have, okay? Good. So um, basically, what we are going to do today is to learn the tools, the tools that we use, we normally use, okay? We are not going to learn all, but the most important ones. <coughs> Sorry. So first, um, when you open the Sakai homepage, okay, at the top here, you see some courses lining up here. Before the, your courses will appear at the top here, you have to start them. So, this is how you do that. You click on site. And then the courses that you've registered for the sem, okay. So, I'm in second semester. So, I will unstart the first semester courses. And then start the second semester courses. Because I want the second semester courses to appear at the top. It makes assessing the course very easier. And faster so i just start it okay you click on the stars here and then you reload the page when you reload you can see that those courses will be appearing at the top here like how my good so let's go to the courses itself assuming you've been given an assignment or a text or you have a form or a pool on a particular course click on that course okay click on that course assuming i'm having a text and quizzes on INFS 322. I'll just click on INFS 322. Okay, so the tools for INFS take note when you click on a particular course, the tools that will pop up here is mainly for that course, it's for that course only. So, all the tools I'm seeing here are for this particular course. These are the slides. Okay, you have session one up to 13, and then we have um calendar announcement resources forum assignment text and quizzes gradebook <laughs> so let's go through some of these uh, tools announcement is just like what i said earlier if you have a notification you when you come to announcement you see it over there if it is for that particular course you see it over there and when you go to resources resources are where you download your learning material so these are your learning materials. If you want to download them, just click on each one of them one by one, okay? And then you download them. When you click on it, you download automatically. Okay, good. So let's go to forum. Assuming you've been given a forum assignment or a forum work. Forum is like a group discussion, okay? A class discussion. A topic will be given, and then they'll ask you to, like, what do you think about this particular topic, okay? And then one thing about forum is, when you are being given a, a, something on a forum, you have to answer and submit yours before you can read your colleague's own. Okay. 
So assuming I'm having a, a, a general discussion here, okay, general dis discussion here, a, a page will be created for me to start a new conversation. When I click on that new conversation, which means I'm going to uh, contribute, okay, what do I think about the topic? Then I'll write whatever I want to write, and then I'll submit. After submission, I'll get access to my colleagues' work, and I'll be able to read whatever my colleagues have written. If you are a thousand in the group, you'll be able to read all the thousand submissions. But before you can even access that, you have to submit yours first. So that is about the forum. <coughs> then assignments. Assignment, they give you durations, okay? Let's say maybe uh, within one week, within two weeks, within one month, okay? When you click on assignments, you see if there's a, a question, you see it over there, and then you do it. Some of the assignments, you will either type it directly, okay? A web page will be created for you. you just click on the web page, you type everything. And then when you are typing, Sakai normally gives duration, okay? So sometimes when you are typing, they'll tell you that um, 10 minutes for your session to expire or 5 minutes for your session to expire, okay? So when that thing pops, I just click click on, like, give more sessions. You just click on it. It will give you more time to type whatever you are trying to type. Or you go and do the work on it, either your laptop or your phone, and then you add an attachment. That one is also allowed. There are some assignments that you are permitted to add attachments in it. And there are some assignments that you can do both. You use the web page on Sakai. Or you use um, attachment. Okay, attachment is you type the work somewhere and then you come and paste it here. Okay, you just add a PDF format or whether Excel, you add it. And then uh, we also have a um, text and quizzes here. Text and quizzes is like a classwork, a class test. They give you a time duration, maybe 50 minutes. The moment you open the work or you start work, please don't go back. If you go back, you won't be able to come back again. Maybe by the time you come back to the page, then your time is exhausted. Then it will grade you. Sakai grades automatically. And the moment you are done, it will grade you and to give you marks. So assuming you are on question one, <coughs> you went back to answer, to reply maybe your WhatsApp messages, you came back, and then the time is exhausted. You get one over ten. If it is over ten, get one over ten. And I don't, I'm not even sure that one, uh, the one you answer, you are going to get it right or wrong. So that is about text and quizzes. When you are doing texts, please concentrate and finish before you exit the page. Good. And then the next one is gradebook. Um, gradebook is um, where your grades will be put, okay? If you do a test or assignment and you've been graded, when you come to a gradebook, you see it over here. When you come to a gradebook, you see your grades over here. Okay, that's how it works. And then you also have pools. Pools is like, mm, they can ask you a question, like, oh, what do you think about this topic? To your suggestion, it's it's normally about voting yes or no. You can ask you in is Ghana a democratic country, yes or no. So you just if it is if you agree, it is yes. You click on yes. If you agree, it's no. You click on no. Okay. And then we also have the chat room. The chat room is where you meet your colleagues. Okay, here it's just like a WhatsApp page, a WhatsApp platform. You meet your lecturers, and then your students. Okay. Normally, the what differentiates between the lecturers and the students is that. The lecturer types in caps, in capital letters, and then the student types in small, using the small letters, okay? So you can have an interactive section with your lecturer at the chat room, just like you're on a WhatsApp page with your colleagues or your friends. You can, if you have a question, you can even ask on the chat room, just type it over there and leave it. When the lecturer comes to the page, he or she will come and reply your queries, okay? So um, basically, these are the... Um, Common tools that you have, you, get, you must know if you want to use as uh, you want to use Sakai and then you want to don't want to face challenges. Um, you have to know these tools, okay. And then also you yourself can be going through the tools and know what they they are for, okay. Okay, so this applies to all the courses. The same thing applies to all the courses. If you click on a different course, you get the same tools, okay. <laughs> different course, you get the same tools. Let me click on um poly. Three, four, four. I think I have some text also. So let's go to text and see. Text and quizzes. We see I have one text here. I, I'm yet to do it. It's 18 minutes. Time limit is 18. Okay. And then there is an expiring date for it. So here, if I want to do this text, I'll just click on it like this. Then I'll begin section. The moment you click on begin section, we are starting with. Then the moment you start, please don't go back. Finish before you close the page. Okay. So basically, assignment is not like assignment. You can use all the time you want to do it. 
just sit at your comfort zone and do the right thing. But for texts and quizzes, there's a time limit. If the time is up, it will submit on its own. Okay. So basically, these are the tools um, you have to get yourself abreast with. Okay. And then at the top side here, we have your profile. Okay. It tells you your name, your. Um, you can go to my profile and then you edit some of the info. It's just like writing a bio on Instagram. Please don't change your name. You cannot even change it. Okay. But you can change maybe something, some status that you want to put on your bio. Just like writing a bio on Instagram or Facebook. The same thing. You can even edit it and put your picture over there if you want to. Okay. So this is how this archive works. This it's not something that is too tedious to get yourself abreast with. So please try and then be using it as 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 often as you can. Okay. If you are not doing anything, just go to your Sakai, be playing with the tools, and then you know what each and every tool is useful. Thank you for watching the video, and please don't forget to share this video. And also, if there's something you think I left out that I didn't talk about, please leave it under the comment below. And then also, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.